YouTube, what's going on? JC here, and I'm back with the video I promised in my last one. This is the 2016 into 2017 most worn shoe collection video. These are probably the top shoes that I have in my in my collection, either whether they're like the most worn, the best shoes, the ones I like the most, whatever it is. I've got many other shoes, but I'm just not including them in this just for the sake of this video. But we'll go down each, every single one of these shoes as they appear. We got streetwear, we got dress wear, whatever it might be. These are the top shoes. This is gonna be a good one, so stay tuned for it. Here are the Jordan Eclipse Holiday Edition. Bought these, I think, a year and a half ago, I'm pretty sure, when they came out. Basically, very, very standard shoe. They're kind of like a low-rise Jordan. I do have another pair of Jordans in this collection. Don't really wear them a lot. I used to wear them a lot last year. Um, they're more of like my beat-up shoes now, as you can kind of see the bottoms are just kind of torn apart. I don't take very good care, and I know I should. I don't take the best care of my shoes. But yeah, these are the Jordan Eclipse. Uh, Christmas, holiday edition, whatever whatever it is. I'm, I think it's holiday edition. But yeah, they're pretty dope shoes. They got the red interior, all that kind of stuff. They make a hundred different like colorways of these shoes now. But they're really, really dope. Alright, so my next pair of shoes on the left here is another pair of Jordans. These are the Jordan 10 um, Cool Grays. So these ones, nowadays, are not as hype as they used to be. Um, you can find these for pretty, pretty cheap now, which is kind of... Um, I guess horrible in my in my standard, um, but to be honest, I, I don't mind these shoes. I don't wear them a lot because I don't wear a lot of high tops, as you'll see in the rest of the uh, the rest of the collection. I know these are not like really high tops; they're kind of mid cuts. Um, realistically, I'm only wearing these more more now as like kind of boots, which is like kind of a horrible kind of application for Jordans. But I'm wearing these a little bit more like boots now, kind of sit in my closet a lot more. But a good pair of Jordans nonetheless. All right, moving on to the next pair of shoes, and these ones are going to be a lot dirty. I'm probably going to hear it in the comments. But these are the Ultra Boosts. Yeah, these are like my newest pair of Ultra Boosts. These are the cream colorway. A lot different than the kind of white. I, this is why I went with these. Um, these are probably my favorite pair of shoes right now. Compa like Ultra Boosts in general, these are probably my favorite shoes. I know I'll be called a hype beast for that, but I really don't care. Um, I love these shoes. The problem with the white ones, I've been wearing them a lot more and it's winter outside and it's probably not the best idea. I was gonna save them for the, the spring summertime. But I didn't do that, and now they're dirty. And now I have to clean them, and I hate cleaning white shoes. But yeah, the Ultra Boosts, probably my, uh, this is probably my second favorite pair, of favorite pair of shoes right now. I guess with that being said, the next pair of shoes is the black, the traditional, the OG Ultra Boosts. Um, I scoured New York City for these, um, probably for an hour and a half to get, get my hands on these when they first kind of released. These are the OGs, honestly. They're so beat up. I can't believe how horrible I take care of these shoes, but I wear them all the freaking time. I changed the laces out to a more, um, like a rope lace, kind of similar to the Yeezys, just because I like it. I'm also going to change the ones on these out, actually, to a cream lace later on with the ropes, but these are probably my hands down number one shoe right now, like, without a doubt. That's it. <laughs> You saw them in the beginning. These are the Yeezy 350 Turtle Doves. I bought these on a very, very whim situation. To be completely honest, I don't wear them. Like I said, I kind of mentioned these two. I don't really like white shoes too much either. But these are really dope shoes. They're not like my favorite, to be completely honest. I'll be 100% honest. I don't like Yeezys as much as like other people. I like. I think they're cool. I think the design's really, really awesome. Love Kanye, but like. I'd rather wear the Ultra Boosts over these any other day of the week. I'd honestly rather wear NMDs over Yeezys any day of the week. Call me out for that. All right, next couple pairs of shoes. We're going to go kind of quick because there's not, like, really too much to sell. Just kind of plain pair of tan dress shoes. These are really, really awesome with navy suits, um, lighter grays. But, yeah, they're really, really awesome for, for navy suits, all that kind of stuff. That's why I kind of keep these in my collection, in my, like, rotation I guess really really awesome shoes because I do wear suits to work and stuff like that so this is really cool um, the next pair of shoes very simpler again just all black 
uh, toe cap ox screw. These ones are Calvin Klein. Really, really awesome. Again, these were kind of a whim buy. I just saw them in a, in a store and I was like, you know what, I need a new pair of black dress shoes. They're really kind of cool because they've got a bit of a different pattern. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully the camera focuses, probably not. But um, they've got a really cool pattern on the, uh, the insole here, which is really, really nice. Um, these are probably my stable dress shoes. Wear them all the time. Uh, behind me, also on the left-hand side, is a pair of monk straps. This is what that style is called with the straps going over top. Again, staple kind of black dress shoes. Really, really awesome for wearing suits and all that kind of stuff. Any type of suit, really. The monk straps a little bit more, I find a little bit more casual, which is kind of nice when you want to wear like a really formal outfit but keep it casual. Um, I like wearing these. And then a pair of shoes that I haven't worn in a really, really long time. These are an Oxford like Baroque shoe, but they're like double caps. So like it's really cool. Like these are like wingtip, sorry. Wingtip white is in the middle. That's what that means. I'm like horrible right now with this. But uh, these were, again, these were a really cool buy. I bought them a long time ago. They still fit me. But these are really kind of cool to like really spruce up an outfit. Like if you're wearing a black suit and you got a pair of these on and just like a white dress shirt, it looks sick because like you cannot wear a tie with and like wear this too. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can wear like no tie, dress shirt, and these and you look dope. I call these my Justin Timberlake shoes because that's like the style that he kind of wears um, a lot of times. But I think they're really, really dope. I probably never get rid of them unless they don't fit me anymore or they break. But they've been pretty good so far. I don't wear them as much. Um, and then my last kind of two pairs of shoes are very old school. A lot of people might call me out for this, but these are a pair of penny loafers. And what penny loafers are, they're very old, um, kind of casual looking formal shoe. You wear them with like summery type suits. The thing about these are coming back for a good reason. You wear these with really like tight fitted pants, like really nice fitted pants in the summer, like rolled up or something like that or a cuff, no sock. These look fresh. I'm telling you right now, they look fresh, fresh, fresh. I will do like a summer video with like some type of fashion video and I'll show you how these look. They look so dope, it's unreal. And then my last pair of shoes are very, very similar, but these ones are a suede. These are dope. I actually just recently picked these up. Um, kind of, again, a kind of whim kind of thing. I wanted them for New Year's, but didn't get them. But these things look sick. Like, they got that crown, like, embossment there, like, the stitching in, which looks really, really cool. Again, a really kind of summery outfit. I'm gonna, I, have, I, have, I have a couple outfits I want to wear these with in the summertime that I will show you guys. Yeah, no, these ones are really, really cool. They've got, like, even on the bottom, they have, like, uh, the crown as well, which is awesome. Like, the lion with the crown. I think they're pretty dope, so, I mean, that's what it is. All right guys, so that'll do it for my 2016-2017 shoe collection. Like I mentioned in the beginning, there is many other shoes that I have here, but I didn't include them in the video just for the time's sake. But let me know in the comments down below what your favorite shoe is. It doesn't have to be in my collection. It could be in your own collection at home. Uh, I just kind of want to get a good base of like what people are liking nowadays, I guess. Like I said, I like the Ultra Boosts the most, way more than Yeezys. I know I'll get a lot of hate for that, but I love the Ultra Boosts. Um, if you really like this video, hit a like. I'm going to try and do some more fashion type videos in the near future, like I mentioned in my last video as well. Um, hopefully, if you guys like that kind of stuff, you can smash that like button. But uh, leave me a comment what you want to see next, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. You, you just need us up to me. I can show you my world. We can go through it all. You, you just leave it up to me. Take a trip to the stars. I can show you it.